Hi everyone, this is just a quick and dirty demo of the auto sampler plugin in Mainstage. I just want to demonstrate how to sample external instruments into sampler instruments so you can reuse them when you don't have the instru external instruments available. It's dead easy, this is a clean uh, concert, just start with one of the templates and delete the channel strips. I've created one external instrument channel strip. The settings are, as you might expect, MIDI output to go to the thing you're sampling, stereo if it's a stereo unit, the audio input that you've wired it into, in my case it's 7 and 8, and then just my master so I can hear them. So off that channel strip I can now, I can now enjoy the fantastic 1990s sounds of JV Fantasia. Um, once you've got that set up and that's working, we have got levels coming in here. The auto sampler plugin can be found under Utility Auto Sampler. I'm going to show you some of the basic settings. Again, Google this for more information. For the demo, I'm only sampling a small amount of the keyboard. It'll take too long otherwise. But you can pick, you can drag this range and pick five octaves, eight, you know, seven octaves, or whatever you need. Um, I'm just going to sample a tiny little bit. Pick some suitable sustain that you think represents the overall arc of the sound. I tend to sample every three semitones. The default's more than that. Um, I tend to sample every three. Velocity layers, this sound only has one velocity layer, which means that even though it responds to velocity, it's the same sample played softer or quieter. It doesn't have different samples at different velocities. If you're using uh, more complicated sounds, more complicated modules, you can sample up to eight different velocity layers and it'll literally sample the same note at a number of velocities and capture all that for you. You can also change that from linear to exponential or logarithmic, but keep it simple. The JV doesn't do that, not in this patch anyway. So I'm going to sample just one velocity layer and it will sample at full volume, 127. I've also added the Penrose Machine Auto Loop, which means as you hold the key down, you'll see when we sample this in a second, at the very end of sampling, it works out the best place to add a loop and does it for you. Gets it right 99% of the time. Um, it's actually a fantastic algorithm. Don't know how it works, but it's very clever. All you then need to do is hit sample. What it'll do is it'll pop up a box saying, what do you want to call it? So I'm going to call it JV test. Uh, tell it to start. If you saw there that it was sampling the wave, there was a yellow piece in the middle. That was the loop, that was where it was working out where the loop was. So having done that, it should now be possible if I just get rid of that a second, create a new uh, software instrument line, mute this one. I'm going to drop my uh, sampler to there. In your auto sampled folder, there should now be uh, my JV test. You see, I do this quite a lot. And in theory, if I play one of those two notes that were sampled, like magic, complete as you can tell with a loop. If you look at the, uh, the under the, the instrument itself, you can see that it's automatically created the wave files on the correct keys, and it's created the zones down here. The process of sampling software instruments is pretty much identical, except that instead of using an external audio strip, like this one, you would use your normal software strip. So for instance, if I was uh, sampling a, um, an internal instrument, I could just pick one from this list and then run the auto sampler in the exact same way. That's it. Enjoy!